Hi, in this video, I will show you how to extract bibliography data from SI Web of Science database. So, this bibliographic data could be used for citation analysis, co citation, and bibliographic coupling analysis, and also co occurrence and co word and co authorship analysis. And you may also use them for different kind of content analysis purposes as well. And here, I'll be using as a web of science database. You can also have a Scoopus data, PubMed. There are many other databases, but for now, we'll focus on web of science database. And it is one of the largest one, as you know, and it has coverage since 1900s with more than 900, uh, with more than 90 million plus records and almost all the journals and articles recorded in SSCI, SCI or emerging Source Citation Index journals are listed here. So we'll have a wide range of data actually. So now uh, one important thing is you need to have access to this ISIU Web Science database through your institution. So now here I'm already on the website of ISIU Web Science and here you see we can search here and just uh, for instance, uh, just to give you an example, I'm taking two things. Like, for instance, if I want to do a citation analysis of theories in international business, I can maybe write theory, yeah, and international business. I, here, I'm putting theory and international business in quotation marks so that only the items and articles which which has exactly these two terms will show up. So here I go and click search. So I have here about 774 articles. That's nice. Maybe you are wondering that if all the theories in international business are covered by this search because sometimes uh, some theories are also referred as framework. I mean, they're not theories, they're framework, but they're kind of used as theories as well. So those are kind of ignored here. So we'd like to add framework as well. So we can write like theory are, are a framework. So we do it like this theory and Framework theory or framework and international business. So now we will have the articles which has either theory or framework and international business. So we give search. Now we get about 1126 articles. Okay, that's nice. Sometimes it can also happen that international business and international management are kind of relevant. Also strategy and yeah, an organization studies, these are kind of relevant. So maybe you are not interested in them, maybe you are interested in them. So just to show you, like you can also add actually uh, maybe management, international business and not and here it should be R. R management but then I can put it like this international should be here and there should be an and yeah international and business or management and the other side we have here the theory and frameworks Okay, so we click search again. Something is missing here. I missed the quotation mark. So now I get about 9,200 articles, and this is a lot for analysis. So Maybe you are not really interested in all these articles. Maybe you are interested in only the most cited articles here. You can refine by this. Like, and here you have hot papers, open access papers. Maybe you are very interested in highly cited articles, then you can just refine by this. 
also maybe you are just interested in articles in last two years so you can just click here and refine by this so for now what I will do is I will actually avoid this management part and I will just keep it limited to international business theories and let's see topic I get 1126 articles so here I you may also refine by fields like business and management and economics maybe and also so it depends on you, you can refine with many other things usually when you try to do some bibliometric analysis you try to avoid the review and editorial and proceedings and book reviews so we will refine by articles only so that's we get 998 okay there could be some other refined criteria as well like open access authors and there are many other options you can see here yeah language we will we will actually use it we will make it to English all English and now let's do this let's refine let's limit it to last five years not last five years but yeah 15 to yeah so I have refined it to this last five years now we have only 498 articles now I'd like to extract these 498 articles uh, just have it in mind that for your field it could be different search codes and different keywords and you may would like to have different defined criteria but I'm just giving a giving an example so you have to play with it and you have to find out what suits best in your case so for easiness I will make it 50 per page so here before we really extract this data all these articles like 498 here we should actually go and read at least the abstract of each of the article to really understand that it really fits with our purpose it really fits with what we are trying to what you will try to do in your in your research I mean if it is really related with theory and international business and it could be different things for your study so but yeah then you can actually remove it from the list I mean you just don't select that one but in, in my case, just to show you now, I'll select all of them. Yeah, I will select all of them here. I have 50. I go to the next page. I select all of them. Select all of them. So if you want to leave, if you want to exclude any of them, you just just untick it and uh, untick it and yeah it's fine it's not there so maybe you don't want to have this one as well so you don't have there but for now I'll have all of it and yeah, go to the next page I, go, I select all of it here you see mark list 100 so now it should be 150 and again I select all of it so it's adding up in the mark list two hundred more. One hundred more. I think I missed a little bit. Yeah, this page I missed. So let me see it now. And it seems I missed also the page before. 
yes good so I have all this articles in the mark list and I go on the mark list now I would extract these articles for build metric analysis using some other softwares and what I will do here is I will select all of it you can actually like choose which one you want to select and which not but I'm selecting all of it and then you click here save to other formats you may choose different ones but I would choose plain text because I will be using this format for other softwares so send and it should be downloaded right now yeah this is here it's downloading you see so you see it looks like this it's a text file with a lot of information but we cannot really read and that's fine so before we can use it with some other software a few things has to be done we have downloaded all the marked articles and now we have to save it we have to resave the file downloaded file and we have to make the encoding a nsi and also when we save it we have to rename uh, we have to replace the first sentence with this one so i'm gonna copy it from here so i just copied the first sentence and i will replace it here And now I'll save it, save as, I'll rename it as Theory IB, maybe 498 as well, and I will change the encoding to NSI, and I'll save it. And that's fine. Just to show you if the data works, I have open here his site software and I will open that file browse and add file should work nice so here you see it works here we have 498 articles written by 1114 authors in 163 journals and with a lot of cited reference and a lot of keywords. Thank you for watching. If you find it useful, like, share, and comment. Bye bye.